addressing a media conference, Mumbala argued that the tournament in honor of Isaks was not a constituency obligation and thus should not have been paid with funds from the regional council. As we sit here in Swapo, party office, we cannot take Swapo money and from there promote Mumbalas. No. You cannot. If you want to have a cup called Mumbala or whoever, take your salary but not public funds. Isaac mustn't pay that money back. But Isaacs, a landless people's movement, councillor maintains the aim of the sports tournament was to provide young people with a platform to express themselves through sport and positive activities. I look to the situation of our young people and it was December, December and I wanted our youth to get involved and to, to be active and so to extend also from, uh, from my office you know, to the community. And as a result, uh, that tournament was hosted. Mumbala is also demanding that some councillors pay back the travel allowances they received for trips which were not approved by the council. In one way we can say, whatever the travel they took is illegal. And if the law, if the people responsible for the law, for implementation, if they can say, declare whatever they Done is illegal. They are responsible to pay that money back for the community. However, LPM local councillor Easter Isaac dismissed the accusations. Our traps are all within the legal parameters, and we ensure at all times to comply with the relevant legislation that guides us. It's so disappointing to hear from an experienced politician like Matthew Mumbala that he does not investigate any matter to the core and that he is using the political space to sell lies. Na Tangwe Jimmy NBC News, Kiet Manswap.